Can you all see my screen? All right. Now, killer warriors. Please don't mind my voice. So, throughout this week, so many church activities, prayers, and everything. So, um, killer warriors. Any question as regarding killer warriors? Drop your questions. Complaints, okay. What is it about complaints, David? Oh, that block was not defined as an how to identify them, all right? Who else? David, is that all? All right. Okay, Mr. Femi, did you watch the other video on YouTube based on market structure? Yes, I did to get clarification. Yeah, that's that's the main video. I just did that one just to let them to to yeah. back up the killer areas. But that is the main video on market structure. Now, other block. Somebody posted a, a I will send you a link to one okay. of my friend's video on other block. On YouTube. Okay. You could watch the video, then I will not send my own after this class. I will record it and send. Then you could watch it also. You get. All right, now let me let me start okay. from let me start from below. How to okay. identify bullish and bearish other block? With you. How to identify bullish and bearish other block? David. David, this area is another block. This is another block. This is another block. This is another other block. This is another other block. So why did I pick all this? If you notice one thing strike between all of them, David, and what do you think happened to all of them?
One thing that is constant in all of them is this. They are all looking like a what? A engulfing bar. They are all looking like an engulfing bar. You get the point? Are you, can you guys hear me? Yo. People can hear me, right? Yes, I can hear you. Now, something strike inside all this. And this is what? The other block. Now, but before we go into this, let me now go around, start afresh from the YouTube videos. Key level areas. Like I said, I would I would do a particular video based on other block alone, so you could be able to understand it properly. Now let's talk about today's class, which is key level areas. Now, from the video you watch, how many key level areas do we have? Three. Three. Yes. What are they? The moving average. Good, the moving the average. The other block and the market structure. Moving average. The moving average, the other block. Uh, and the market structure, right? And the market structure. Good, now the market structure normally come last. The moving average yes. sometimes come first. The other block comes second, yeah. and the market structure comes last. Now, when trading support and resistance, eh? when trading using support and resistance, are we there? Yes, sir. Good. On a normal, if I want to check my support and resistance zone, I will turn it to a line chart, right? Yes. Then I will look for my zone and all those things, right? I saw you teach also. Good. Now I want you, because you have now, you now advance. You have now advanced. So right now, you are not make, going to be making use of this again anymore. You get the point now? Yeah. You will not be making use of this support and instance zone anyhow again. What you will not be making use okay. of is this. Whenever you come online and you want to take a trade, remember I talked about something based on yesterday's video. I thought about the life and the death, right? Yeah. The lifespan and the timing. And I said the timing, the, and I said the lifespan, sorry, the life and the death is where the market started from and where it's going to end, right? Yeah. And I said the lifespan is what? The market structure. Good, the market structure. Now, looking at this right now, you will notice something. Let me take it back to the candlestick. Let's assume that the trend started from here fully. A breakout of this zone. Eh? Or let's take let's mix of this one. Let's make use of this one from here down to this place. Let us analyze it. Are you getting the point? Yeah. Let's analyze this. Now, if you look at this, price drops. Right? Went higher. 
drops. Let me just use the zigzag indicator instead. Instead of me putting all these things myself. All right, we have the zigzag. Now look at it. This is a pure bearish trend. And when price drops, it created a market structure level here. Did you see it here, up here? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Now it breaks this low. Now looking at it, when it breaks this important low, where did it retest to? The moving average, right? Yeah. And what happened? It drops. Are you seeing it? Yeah. It drops. Now in dropping, coming down to this place, it closed below this market structure, which is this particular one. Yeah. Then it drops again. Now it coming back up here. This is not the market structure level here. Yeah. What happened? Ma it reacted to what? Market what? Structure and what? Moving average. Do you get the point? Yeah. Now, Mr. David, are you there? Yes. David, a confluence, listen, a confluence is when we have two or more, when price is respecting the any of two key level areas, that is respecting the moving average and the market structure or the moving average and the other block. Now, let me talk about a trend other block. You see this particular one bar here, this particular bar that is bullish. This one here, that my cross here is now, right now. Yeah. If you look at it, price closes below it and drop, right? Yeah. If you notice, price drops after it closes below it, it, this particular bullish bar, it's price push lower after closing below it, right? Yeah. This is another block. This is another block. The fact that price closes lower, like price run away from it. You get the point? It's a trend market, but when price closes below this particular bullish candle here, it drops very fast. Now, this is another block. This is another block region. It's created another one here. Look at it. Another other block. Price run, move away from that particular bullish bar very fast, right? Are you there? We are following. Good. Now, it form another other block. See, another other block here. And look at how price run away from it, like four, four bucks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Can you see? Yeah. Look at this particular place now. It's another block. Price drop, it run away from it. One, two, three. Can you see? Yeah. Now, all this particular opposition bar you are seeing, they form an other block for a trend market. For a trending market, all this one opposition buyer you are seeing, the price run away from it immediately after it forms. They form an order block for a trending market. Now, this mm -hmm. is a bearish order block because if price touch it and returns on there, it's going to continue selling. You get the point? Yeah. But when it is a bullish order block in a, in a, in a when price up trend. is, God bless you, in an uptrend, it's a bullish order block. And your other block can do be what? A seller bar, not a yeah. bullish bar. You get the point? Mm. Yeah. Good. Now, let's continue. If you notice, price did not close above our market structure yet. It respected the moving average here, right? Yeah. Now, what happened? If you look at this particular zone, Price went up to this level, right? Why? Because we have a close of what? Above what? 
moving average. Can you see the close above moving average? Okay. And price went higher. Now, this particular place you are seeing is the weekly time frame moving average level. Now let's go to the weekly time frame. You see it. All right, this is it. Not it is not even get close to the moving average. Now price drops and went back to touch the what? The moving average level here in the weekly. Now, if you look at it from the daily, what happened? There is a break in what market structure here, yeah, and that was why price went higher. Respecting the divergence rule, sorry, the divergence rule and the replacement rule of four hours, price went higher to touch the weekly time frame levels. Now, this is what mm. you want to see. You get the point? Yeah. Good. Let me take another level. Let me take another this thing. For example, NZUSD, let me take the four hours. I need a long trend so that it be very long. Good. Now let's take this one from here to this zone. Now, you want to know that price will always react at three key level area. It either reacts to the moving average or the what? Other blocks or the market structure level. <laughs> Now, what happened? Price started dropping from here. Price started dropping from this level. It drops. Came back to touch the what? The what? Moving average. The moving average. It drops again. Touch here again. The moving average, right? Mm -hmm. It came back to touch this other block here. Can you see between the other block and the moving average level? Can you see it? Yeah. It drops again, then touches this place again. The same other block level. Can you see? Yeah. Now, looking at these two. Price did not break market structure. It only touches the moving average and the key level area or the other block. Do you get? And that is why price did not go up. So why am I teaching you this? When you see a trending market, you know that if price wants to retrace, it will either retrace to the moving average or the what? The other block, but it will not break what? Market structure level. <laughs> 